So in this video, we're going to be looking at task 18D. Okay. So if you look at a question, if you find out that we're meant to um, import teachers.csv, okay, and then be able to set the fields as stated in the table below, the fields, the field names, and data types, okay, we're going to set teachers table like this, okay. So the first thing that we want to do is first of all import uh, teachers the CSV and then we now start making changes to the field names and then the data types. Okay. Okay. So the first thing I do, uh, I want to load a new database. Okay. And then go to blank database. First of all, I'm going to set the directory to where I want it. All right, where I want to access a location that I know. All right, let me just let me just do it in a proper way. I'll go to yeah. So this way I want it to be on my my database to be. So I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it the name task eighteen D. I suppose yeah D. Okay. So I'm going to save that, okay that. All right, so now I have given it a name and then the, the uh, what's called the location, all right? And then I'll say create. Okay, so um, now we're going to import. So we can go to external data, go to new data source from data, from field file, text file, and then browse for the file. So if you have not watched uh, how to do this, just watch the, the video in 18A, task 18A, please. Okay, cool. Okay, that. So I'm not going to do much here. So but the first thing we're going to do, first of all, we're going to uh, select uh, first row contains field names. All right? Very, very important. Just so that teacher's ID for name and all that will be will be at field. So we move ahead. So I'm not going to do much here. I'm just going to go ahead. Here I'm going to rather make it not to give me any primary key. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to check uh, no primary keys. Okay. And then move forward. All right. And then finish. Fast. Close that. Okay, so my teacher's table is already here. So I can get rid of this um, table here. I don't really need this default table. Okay, so what I need is this. All right, so um, this is it for, so the teacher is here. The teacher's table is here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to, I'm going to go home and then design view and then change the name, the field name and data type as what is shown on the question. Okay, so we can do that. So let's go ahead to do that. So I'm going to have um, this as S code. Uh, short text is okay for me. I'm going to have this as um, F name. Sorry about that. F name. And uh, so the surname is going to be S name. Okay, so I'm going to say S name and then the subject is cool and then the room is cool so number so uh, from the question we have numeric or integer so number for database for access is very okay now another question another thing that we're going to do is that we're going to set s code as what a key field which is the primary key right so what we're going to do there is simply <clears throat> go to where Excel is, right click right there, and then make it a primary key as simple as that. And then I think we're done with the table. Okay. So the next the next thing is to import students.csv as new table in your database. So we're gonna just do that just in a moment. Alright, so see if that changes and then we're good to go. So the next thing is to import another another table. Which is um, what's that again? Student of CSV, yeah. Okay, so um, we we'll go to external data and then new data source, 
there, there, and then um, we're going to browse for the file. Send us CSV, obviously. Okay, that. Move. Then make it uh, the first row contains field names. And then move ahead. Move ahead. Do you want a primary key on this? No primary key. Okay, for now, we're going to do that later on. Okay, so next, finish. Finish. Okay, so um, this is for the, okay, so we have the teacher here. So the student, we don't have the student here. So I'll go home, go to design view, just to be sure that everything is looking good. So um, from the question, I think there's uh, one, one thing. So we're going to set the student ID, the student ID field as a key field. So we're going to make uh, the student ID as the key field, which is the primary key. So we right click again, and then primary key, which is awesome. So everything is text, 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 so short text. So um, we're cool with this to data flash, OK? Um, yeah, so I'll go back to my data studio. Yep. So um, finally, the final question is to create a one-to-many relationship. Now, this is where we're going to now create a relation between the two tables, OK? So create a one-to-many relationship as a link between the S code. Now, S code field in the teacher's table and the math field in the student table, OK? So how are we going to do this? Just a moment, we'll see that. OK, so. Now we're here now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just close these guys. You can close that if you, don't, if you want to. You you leave it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to, to create that relationship, go to uh, database tools, okay, go to relationship. Okay, so now here, the show table will show you all the tables that we have, okay? So you can choose the ones you want to um, create relationship between them, okay? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just double click on students and then Teachers, and then I'm good. Close this. Okay. So if I want to be sure that all my all my fields are showing, just go down here, click and drag. I think all my fields are showing here. Just look here. So we're good. Yeah, we're good here. Now, how do I create this relationship? Simply drag S code. Okay. From S code, drop it on math because the relationship is supposed to be between. S code and math in student table. Okay, so I'll drop that. Now, this dialog box is going to show you the, the type of relationship that you're creating. Okay, if you look at this, uh, the um, at the bottom side of the um, the um, edit relationship, you will see a relationship type is one to mean. Very important. So, according to the question, if this, what you have here is not giving you what you want. You can cancel. You can go to cancel and cancel and then link and then give the appropriate um, primary keys to the, the appropriate fields, okay? So, but this, what we have here is satisfactory and then we can now say create, okay? So, this is how you create a relationship between two database tables, okay? Now, a station whereby you want to probably edit or change, um, you know, change relationship or something like that, you can just go to this line, the line connecting them and double click on it, and then it will still, it can still give you the edit uh, dialog box, okay? And then that is how you can create a relationship between two tables, all right? So that is uh, how you do that. Um, if you have any question, please leave a comment below. Um, please subscribe and share my video. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.